Hello, welcome to Saturday evening in the model room. Um, just a little running session tonight, it's not too long, not too waffly. Um, last Sunday, as some of you may remember, I was struggling a little with my voice and that. It's it's still not perfect, but even not this weekend. Um, I've been told by a number of guys, if you rest it'll get better faster, you know? <laughs> but. Um, so it's getting there. But last Sunday afternoon, um, after I did the sort of the gronk running session, um, I did have just a very quick sort of little time. Just played some glue down, getting those trees out of the way. You might remember from the, the running session, they were all in big boxes, sort of obscuring the view a little bit. So, and they needed to go down. So I very kind of rushed decision for, right, you that, you were there, you know that. And, <laughs> Well, see what you think. Um, I'm going to have a little running session to um, have an A4 out and have a black 5 out. So they're going to have a little run around the track. Um, but let me show you where I put the trees first and then we'll move on to their running session. So you remember, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> those ones were already in. And then we got some additions. That one's gone in. That one's gone in, and that one there is gonna. Yeah, remember that one was already there. That one wasn't. That one's gone in. So if I if I back up a little, that's kind of now starting to give the hill, in my opinion, <laughs> the formation for what I'm starting to create there. It's breaking the shape up a little. And once I've got sort of animals, which is going sort of scattered up towards the top, once I've got a hedgerow, the wild weeds, and build up more on this viewing area. And oh dear, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but down here, like the, the weed area and the shrub area. Don't worry, guys, it was just the TMC box off the ground. Nothing to worry about. Um, so, yeah, that's it's, it's just the basis for that starting to get built a little more. Here they are, ready for their running session. Got the grizzly and the stanya. And here is what I'm talking about. Um, so farm area, you know, I always wanted, I always felt it was too flat with that area. The farm's flat and I went to pick it up. I don't know, is it showing up? Is it giving it? A little height. There's no view of the shunters actually. <laughs> Is that enjoying themselves? Um, so yeah, you see what I mean? Oh gosh, no, it goes to the toilet block. <laughs> uh, see what I mean by the colours? I mean, even this one here, beautiful kind of two tone, lovely colours. So I, I wanted to group these ones because I think they group nice together. And then I thought the office place is there. So, I don't know. What do you think? Kind of like, you still got the farm entrance, but these beautiful trees there. And then I was kind of thinking in my mind, you've got the Leversham Forest area there. So you need trees too to counteract this side. So if I move this squeeze through here, and we'll give you the overall view from here. So, if I come down low, That's the view as you look down. So it's starting to take a little bit more formation for me. Oh, I did squeeze a few extra. The ones I was originally going to use down there. <laughs> and now here. So I've crammed a few in, which I'm not sure about again. Because I don't know if they're taking the shine off the apple tree there. But I also thought it gave some separation in the wall to the railway track. And added to sort of more the raised part. So as you look from here, I, I think they look quite nice together, those ones. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they're great, right, now I'm going to fetch them up. What do we think? I don't know. Does Mr. Shelby approve? He sat there with a little J logo. You approve Mr. Shelby? <laughs> yeah, he approves. So.
and then I didn't really give you the view the view from the hill there we go so they're in place I, um, I love the tree I, you know I absolutely love them I just hope it's me that, <laughs> that I'm questioning not the trees I'm just thinking have I got them right I think I have here I definitely think they're giving me height in all the right places there for me to work between there we go the trees well some of the trees really i've still got lots and lots of trees to plant but the ones i bought from the shows that were stacked in the boxes in the way are in so the trees are down what do you think i'm not 100 percent on the ones i put so the little squad um i i think a color variation made me go for the very green ones here and the, the more prettier coloured ones there but uh, part of me was I was toying between near the tunnel but then I thought mm, no not right so they ended up kind of creating a bit of height I've always said a wind height uh, you probably see here and that between on the middle part so where the farm is and that um sort of ripping the farm up and starting again which has crossed my mind a couple of times um so they've gone sort of the entrance as, as you've seen so um yeah they're there for now it could be next week i'm like no they're going up <laughs> up they come i did put a lot of glue under them uh, i think i was a bit heavy handed with it so if i change your mind it could be a pickaxe <laughs> to get them back up but anyway um enough of that as promised here's the running session I am hoping I'm going to be back in here tomorrow doing something slightly more constructive and just playing with trains but you can never promise these things can you in the life of a model railway person <laughs> so um yeah so there's a little update for tonight at least you've seen sort of where the trees are going um and you've had a little bit of a little bit of steam running you know we can't have those those gronks running too much you know they're here to serve a purpose it's the steam layout <laughs> so Hope you're all having a great evening and yeah, hopefully I'll do a little bit more tomorrow. So have a good night.